Hi, this is Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share something with you. I believe this is a warning, but it's also an admonition. This is Leviticus chapter, what is it? Leviticus chapter 25, verses 18 and 19. Wherefore, ye shall do my statutes, and keep my judgments, and do them, and ye shall dwell in the land in safety. And the land shall yield her fruit, and ye shall eat your fill, and dwell therein in safety. Now, listen, this is what I really believe. I believe that, you know, when you look at things that are going on and the Vegas thing, the people being killed. I mean, mercilessly, it is really crazy. And you know the demons are cutting loose. Demons are taking advantage of people and, 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 and init igniting them to do the most bizarre acts of violence. It really is senseless. So this is what I'm saying. This is a time. If you're ever going to die to yourself, this is the time. Because let's say that you had bought tickets to go to a concert. You may have spent $200 for those tickets and you may not be able to sell them or get a refund. Money lost. So you feel obligated to go to the concert. But what if God has been telling you all through the week, through your feelings. Something's not right. Something doesn't set right. I don't think we should go. But there's that money. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to bow to the dollar bill? Or are you going to go along with that feeling, that gut feeling that's bugging you, telling you to stay home and not go to the concert? See, that's why it says, it, it. if I break it down, it's basically through our obedience, there is way more protection. I have a friend who is planning on going to a TV show. And the TV show's theme is a Christmas theme, which means the prizes are going to be way bigger, way more plentiful. It's going to be a good day. But she does not feel good about going. And she's already called her friends and said, count me out. Because she's got an ear to hear when God is warning. Now, I listened to a man earlier on YouTube, and I do believe this is God. I do believe this is the wisdom of God, the spirit of God. Many of you need to stay your behinds home. You do not need to go to these crowded arenas, to crowded events where there are hundreds of thousands of people. It may be fun to you. It may be harmless. But who knew there was going to be that kind of harm in Vegas? Who knew that? So my point to you is, what if some of those people who went, went and crossed over that warning, that uneasy feeling they had? I do believe God warns us. I really do. But many of us are so dummy down and so deaf to the voice of God because we're so in tuned to the sounds of the world, to the vibes of the world, that we couldn't hear God if he yelled in our ear. I do believe many did not have to go if they had just heard, heeded to that gut feeling, to that ugly dream they had. God warns in many ways, even through obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, flat tires galore. Flat tire here, can't find your wallet there. Somebody holds you up. I mean, 
just all kind of obstacles. It just doesn't make sense. And sometimes that is God sending his angels to block your every step to protect you. But when you are determined to go anyway. So my point to you is learn to obey. Because as the word says in Leviticus, therein lies our safety. Yes, all hell is going to break loose in this country. Yes, things are going to get worse. They don't have to get worse for you. If you do what God tells you to do. Ask him. Start consulting with him. The Bible says, if you acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your path. And when he directs your path, there is safety. God bless you.